Syrian forces loyal to President Bashar al-Assad claim a major military victory. They've taken back a key piece of land from ISIS, which they've been fighting about for seven years. But it's not a victory the U.S. or its allies are celebrating. Correspondent Wyatt Goolsby reports from the Pentagon. Good evening, Wyatt. Good evening, Lauren. President Assad's forces consider this a breakthrough, retaking a part of Syria they haven't controlled since the start of a 2011 rebel uprising. The latest military operation comes after a wider six-week-long campaign aimed at retaking control of the southwest corner of the country, which has, as of late, been under the control of ISIS militants. The U.S. and its allies say this recent fighting is adding fuel to an ongoing humanitarian crisis. Just days before this operation, a United Nations envoy reported more than 7,000 children have lost their lives or been injured in the Syrian conflict since 2013. Some have said the unofficial number is way beyond 20,000. Mortars and rockets, indiscriminate shelling and improvised explosive devices have been used against civilian areas and civilian infrastructures and have had a deadly toll on children. Today, a coalition general speaking by a satellite says they are working with their partners in Syria and Iraq to protect civilians. The U.S. and its allies are also fighting ISIS in Syria, but they do not support Bashar Assad's government. General, I'm hoping you can just tell me a little bit about how the humanitarian crisis in Syria uh, impacts the coalition. That's very much uh, response that is very much led by the civilian agencies and most importantly the United Nations. And we do all we can to support United Nations in their operations to support IDPs and refugees. During today's press briefing, the general would not say if there is anything being done specifically to address minorities in Syria and Iraq, like Christians and Yazidis, who have been targeted by ISIS. Back in southwest Syria, some humanitarian activists, a group known as the White Helmets, remain trapped in part of the area the Syrian government now claims to control. The Assad regime has reportedly refused to allow some of them to evacuate, reportedly because President Assad believes some of them are fighting against him. Lauren? Correspondent Wyatt Goolsby reporting from the Pentagon. Thank you, Wyatt.